gentleman to follow the path you laid out for you. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Hmm. unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Well... Singly. Oh, you mean we should do it? Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. All right. Where? Okay. Use both Fus and Ro. Together, they will make the shout more powerful. Oh, all right. I guess we can do that. So where's that target? Oh, here it is. There. <clears throat> Bit of a sore throat, sorry. Oh, should we do that again? Well done. Again. Oh, uh, all right then. See, it's not so hard. We're doing all right, aren't we? Yeah. You learn quickly. Once more. Yeah, if you insist. Hmm. Yeah. There you go. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Oh, thank you. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Okay. Uh, that would be him then. Alright. Well, is there anything you want to talk about before I go? We will do your next test in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Fine, fine. Uh, you are? Uh, not very talkative. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're going. So, who are you? Also, not interested in talking to us. Ah, uh, yeah, we're moving along. Hmm. Quite a place you got here. I don't suppose you mind if I look around a little bit later? Uh, so, where are we going? We will now see how you learn a completely new shot. How do you get Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Whoa. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Hmm. Approach Master Bori and he will gift you the knowledge of wood. 
Oh, this again. <laughs> it's, it's, sorry. <laughs> it kind of tickles. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Hmm. All right. Master Bori. X. Wolf. Your turn. Wow. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess we can try. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. All right. Whoa! How'd we do? Hmm, you're st still very talkative, aren't you? Hey, how'd I do? Doing all right. Okay, I guess he really is the only one that talks. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. Um, I thought it was easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Um, I actually have quite a few questions I'd like to ask you. Um, uh, first, uh, why are the dragons returning? And, uh, I really hope it doesn't have something to do with me. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on owning your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Ah. Uh. Uh, surely there's more we can talk about. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many Dragonborn before you. Hmm. So, um, what exactly do you think it means to be a uh, Dragonborn? Like, has it killed you? Oh, it's our... Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, why are shouts in uh, the dragon language? Can people do it in other languages too? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Yeah, we, we really weren't trying back there, but I don't really want to rub that in. So, uh, there's only four of you? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Hmm. Huh. So, uh, how would I go about getting to meet your leader, Parthenax? 
As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Ah, uh, yeah, very, very enigmatic. So, uh, who exactly was uh, Jurgen Windcaller? I mean, we read a little bit about him on the way up, but uh, don't know very much. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Huh. And uh, what exactly is the way of the voice? Like some sort of religion? The voice was a gift of the goddess Timirith at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Hmm. Well, so you're really only supposed to use it to pray. Um, needless to say, I don't intend to hole up in a, a monastery here. Which I can't help but fail to understand. If I don't follow your philosophy, why are you helping me learn the voice then? The Dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. Oh. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As Dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift, which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. Hmm. So, uh, tell me a bit more about yourself as Greybeards. There's five of you. What exactly do you do up here other than pray and practice the voice? We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkorn. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Oh. So, I'm uh, actually kind of curious here. Why don't the others talk? Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. Oh. Well, we definitely don't want that. Uh, Alright, well, uh... I guess the only thing left to ask... Well, we did ask why the dragons are returning, but... Are you sure that you can't tell me more about this? No doubt. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Yeah, fair enough. Well, then I guess we really don't have any questions for you right now. Uh, talk to you later on, Gear. Sky, got you. Oh, uh, thanks. Um, well, where do we go? I'm kind of curious. I mean, that's where we came from. That just seems to be a gate to nowhere. What is that? Uh, yeah, you don't talk. Uh, is this where your leader is? Gotta say, it looks, uh, awfully windy up here. Yeah. Whoa! Ah, wow. Oh, that hurt. It's like having your skin ground by razor blades. Yeah, I, I, I guess we're not going that way. Oh. 
fire is just what we need. That feels a bit better. I guess I'll just leave you to your prayers. Uh, I really don't feel like hanging out out here. Let's go back inside. Oh, it's much better. Not that it's terribly warm in here, but it's better than out there. So, praying. Hey, I gotta say, I'm not really sure where we're supposed to go. Mind if I take a look around here? Um, of course you don't. Alright then. Uh, yeah, let's take a peek. Oh, well, looks like they lead, uh, pretty simple lives here. Got some interesting books on the shelves. Oh, they even got a musical instrument. Oh, well, here's where the four of them sleep, anyway. What a banquet they have here. Goodness knows you wouldn't have to worry about preserving food. All you'd have to do is put it outside. I really don't feel like going outside again if I don't have to. So where is this tomb he wants us to explore? Over here. Uh, Ankir? Your no training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Um... Can you tell us a bit more about yourselves? We study the way of the voice. Yeah, you mentioned you that. You permitted to study with us here at High Hrothka. But in your case, Dragonborn, yeah, it's a privilege. It is a privilege. Oh well. Guide uh, you to a sky, guard you. And maybe you could tell us a bit more about the way of the voice. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth. Yeah, you mentioned Although that. this gift has often been misused. Yeah, I hope I don't do that. The mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward action. Hmm. The contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's yeah. domain. And the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Well, I guess I'll try to find Sky, guard you. Uh, you too. I guess we'll uh <clears throat> try to find this uh, tomb you were talking about. Oh, I gotta say, I really have no idea where to. Oh, wow, what a hall! This place is swanky. Got some good wine. An awful lot of seats here, considering that there's only what five of you here, all told. Ah, uh, well, suppose you could always have friends over. Well, I gotta say, the place is a, a little gloomy in terms of the decoration. Ah, uh, right. Uh, let's take a. Yeah, we're, we should definitely be doing that right now, rather than anything else. Um. So, after demonstrating my ability to learn words of power and to shout, Greybeard Arngear has sent me on a final trial, retrieving the horn of Jurgen Windcaller from his tomb in Ost Ustengarab, a burial mound in the marshes of Hijal March. Uh, where would that be? Oh no, all the way over there? Wow. 
Oh wow, that's going to be a long trip. My map's right, that's all the way up by Morthal and Solitude. It's going to be a long time before we get up there. Well, I suppose they really don't have uh, anything to worry about in terms of time, because it's certainly going to take us a while to get over in that direction. Ah, oh, wow. No rush, I guess. Well, it was good meeting you all. I suppose we'll be back eventually. So, does anyone else consider it somewhat amazing that I can now do this? Oh, that's fun. Oh, that'll wake you up in the morning. I probably shouldn't do that in town, though. Goodness knows I go too fast to bump into some kid and break his arm. As funny as that might be, authorities probably wouldn't like it. Well, now we actually have to get back down. That's the rub of it. I don't really think there's any kind of shortcut either. Ah! Oh man, that's fun. We're not misusing it. No, that's it's natural. We he said to practice, even if it comes incredibly easily to us, being a dragonborn. There's nothing wrong with practicing our. Thooms, as they call it. I wonder if I can use it to actually get vertical distance as well. Like up onto that rock. Let's try it. Look up this way. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Oh, our nose. Okay, it just makes us go forward. Ah, good to know. Ouch. really wish we hadn't just done that. Oh, this wind just never stops. It's going to be a long time before we get back down to the base. But, uh... can't help but feel like I want to experiment more with these shouts. Ha! <laughs> That I could scare a snow troll that way. Speaking of that, it's awfully cold. I think I'm gonna use some of that troll fat. Actually, maybe rub it into the leather under my uh, steel armor. Kind of uh, make this a little bit more bearable. Maybe eat an egg. And these saber cat tooths aren't bad, actually. I think I might have one. Yeah, there we go. Feel a bit better now. It's a bit warmer. Pretty as these uh, windswept hills are, certainly wouldn't want to live up here like they do. I don't understand how they can really tolerate it. I'd go mad living in a place like that. I don't know. I guess once you get to that age, being uh, so 